All right. Uh, probably um, like two weeks lowest MMR ever, and certainly lowest confidence in uh, many weeks. Uh, what could possibly go wrong against an opponent that is going to take more MMR from me than I will take from him? Uh, yeah. All right. Let's try and uh, win this one. Uh, we do have good starting setups. If we lose it, it's going to entirely be my fault. That much is clear. Because uh, the starting setups I cannot complain. Although my opponent's setup certainly is nothing to snuff at either. I feel like I've been losing more games ever since putting these crawlers in a uh, horizontal position. Despite my best efforts. Um, oh yeah, and uh, Sledge is vertical again, because I think right now, since Crawlers get stronger, uh, better Chaff Clear is uh, key. And then maybe go and mirror his Marksman. I fully expect to lose this turn. I don't particularly see how I can realistically expect to win it into his board. Can't even do sneaky airplay or something like that. So let's go with some Marksman. Uh, let's maybe put it one further, or put the marksman one further behind. And he's going aggro, okay. So what I want to do uh, in this match, I kinda did uh, talk about that in the previous match, or uh, at the end of the previous match. Uh, I want to start incorporating hackers into my late, ga late game unit composition and uh, see if I can make it work. Like, if a small amount of hackers can make all the difference required in the late game and still win it. I might just get the marksman. No, I will not. I will get everything but the marksman. I would probably have gotten more XP if I had gotten the marksman and nothing else. Definitely worth a thought for him. Do I take it? I have two marksmen on the field. Does he have assault? Yeah, he does. If I had to guess, he's going to take it. I think I will skip here. But what do I get instead? Let's just get some more marksmen out. I don't think that... Uh, uh, this is a carry marksman game, simply because marksmen do better the more the battle goes into the late game, I think. Uh, let us mass recruit for some delayed chaff and get our health upgrade, which is going to put the crawlers at a critical uh, a mass as far as the Arclight DPS is concerned. Or is it actually not? Oh, wow, they have exactly so much health that the Arc Light can still one-shot them. That is unfortunate, but uh, uh, in the later stages of the game, you could technically get a second health upgrade, but that is going to be when it doesn't matter anymore anyway. So I think it's going to, pretty point going to be pretty pointless right now. That is getting cushioned now, and that is amazing, which means I still win the turn with the delayed chaff. Okay, I learned something. They put the crawlers at exactly the amount of health it takes uh, um, so that it doesn't work. EMP, maybe? Barrier, definitely good. If I had to guess, my opponent's going to drop a Vulcan on us. So do I drop a fortress on him? I can't even take this and also drop a fortress. Uh, but I will take the barrier for later. I think I actually want to take the Marksman upgrades. I'm definitely expecting my opponent to go for a Fortress here. Is this a time to backstab him with Wasps and just add a bit more Chaff? I think it's worth doing that. Let's go do it. And let's have them take the shortest possible distance, basically, uh, to the tower, but uh, with a bit of... No, let's have them come in from the rear. 
they might just run after the crawlers if I put them there. And uh, I'm hurting for chaff clear. Can't do anything about it in this turn right now, but I think I can get some additional crawlers out. Okay, he's putting a fortress down. So this is likely going to be Fang Fortress. I am getting the tower though. It's completely unopposed. And that should enable me to win the turn, right? Once all the fangs go down, there is nothing that can shoot up other than the marksman. And despite his fortress being real good at killing my tanks, I simply have the distraction power of enough tanks and the firepower with enough marksmen to win the turn. Alright, what to throw down now? Definitely a good carry unit here. Going for those and range will do a lot, I think. Sabertooths, how about we try the new unit? I think it's not as bad into the fortress. Let's go try it out. Just to see how good or bad it is. So it is a single unit for 200 cost. That is 3x3 three three similar to a Wraith. Basically this is now Sledge Day. And um, I can add two fortresses and put one with, uh, with the shield item. And I think that is exactly what I want to do. Uh, how much range do you have, actually? You have 95, similar to these ledges. So maybe I just put you on the outside. as additional firepower. And put the fortress here. And since everything seems to be focusing on this side, let's add the shield here. He is going to put the level 4 Mustangs here. Okay. So these are going to shoot at each other, and uh, I think the fort is going to win, yeah. Forts are stronger than the level 2 uh, saber tooths. But can they keep up against this fortress? I kinda hope not. For the moment, they are definitely feeding XP, but uh, I'm not sure I can still win the round like that. All of the Mustangs did, in fact, go down, but now under a tower debuff, I'm definitely going to lose. Am I not? I am. Only the fortress survives, though, which is actually pretty good. 